He came to this world June 30th, 1997. From the very beginning, he was a perfect little baby. Back then, his nickname was Mr. Perfect. He was always happy and dedicated to his mother. Happy and inquisitive, he was a joy to be around. During a consultation for his brother, though, his therapist noticed a repetitive hand movement and little sounds. She asked if he had been tested for autism, which had never crossed our minds. Sure, he was low verbal, but with the way his brothers and father talked constantly, he probably didn't think he could get a word in edgewise. That was the beginning of a journey into autism. Fifty years ago, autism affected one in 200,000 children. By the time Matthew came along, it was one in 212. Today, it is one in 60. This is an epidemic of our modern age. But this movie is not to discuss the origins and causes of autism, but rather to look at autistic children as a whole and understand the beauty and lessons that we can learn from them. I guess the earliest stories of Matt would be Mr. Perfect. That's what we used to call him. Because he always seemed to be happy. And uh, seemed to love everything. Um, he also only had two kinds of people in his world. Mama and not the mama. And as I learned early, I was not the mama. Well, he's, he's very organized, very detail-oriented. Um, He's, he likes to follow through with tasks and complete them. He's very used to following a schedule and routines. Um, and so regardless of what he feels like, he will want to feel like he has to finish the schedule or what's on his schedule or his routine of things for that day. And he's meticulous. Um, he memorizes patterns. I mean, he can line up toys or things in a certain pattern and if it gets messed up he he can redo it in the same exact order. He's also very good at like motor skills, riding bike, roller skating, keeping good balance. Um, he's good at computer games, puzzles, um, and very artistic. He has very unique art talents also. Over the years I've received several compliments from people on the way his brothers play with younger children and how patient they are. And I think that's something they picked up from living with Matthew. One word that comes to mind when I think of Matt is special. Not because he's special needs, but because he has a special place within our family and within my own life. Um, sweet. He uh, doesn't think wrong of anyone else, mm -hmm. and he doesn't, he never thinks that anyone's you know, trying to hurt him or tease him or anything like that, and he uh, assumes that everything they have, they probably want to share with him anyway. Uh, one word I would say unique. Well, he's, he's different, I mean, he's nonverbal, but he, he doesn't, um, like, because he is autistic and kind of unaware of things that go on around him, he is non-judgmental and he looks at the world differently and we can learn from him in that we should not judge others or be afraid of what others think of us because Matthew is a person, if somebody was right next to him and said something bad about him or put him down, it doesn't affect him. He doesn't, he's not aware that that should be hurtful to him and we should learn from that and that we should not let words affect us um, in the same way. We should not let other people's judgments or um, comments or anything put us down if it's negative. Now, if Matt didn't exist and it was just me and Dawn, I think I'd be less sensitive to special needs and be more unaware of what's going on. I would also be more ignorant to how they are and I would judge them, I might criticize them, I would be part of the majority that might even you know, look down on them. But because Matt's here, 
He's taught me how to love and respect and understand special needs kids more than a lot of other people can fully comprehend. He's also made me non-judgmental towards special needs kids because I understand completely what's going on and I can relate to them. kind of makes me helps me to understand other people that are different because sometimes I see people the way they look at him or the way he's acting and if they're not used to someone being different they uh, they'll they'll stare at him and they're trying to figure out why he's reacting slightly differently than most people would in the same situation or whatever but it's so I look more maybe open-mindedly toward other people in the same situation. And there are a lot of little characteristics of people like Matthew. So it's funny, I can recognize it quickly in someone else and appreciate the beauty that's in them and uh, their, the people who are taking care of them. Because it, it's, it's, it's different. Wait, wait. Uh, you're in dark lighting. Here, look Please this way. Smile. Look this way at me. Smile. No. Please. 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 Is that your best smile, Matt? The one that you're making me do, yeah. <laughs> well, the world needs to understand that autism is a neurological condition. It affects language and social skills, um, and it's a huge spectrum. So everyone is different. Everyone has different characteristics. Everyone has different um, things they can and cannot do. They have different strengths, different weaknesses. Um, autism is often looked at as puzzle pieces. You know, they're all a unique piece of a puzzle. Here, let me hear it, sweetie. Say it to the camera. JJ. Push. 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 pieces together and they're all different. Each piece of a puzzle is different than the other pieces in the puzzle and that's the way it is with autism. Everyone is different on the spectrum. So if you find something that works for one individual and improves their quality of life or their language skills, it may not work for a different individual. Um, something else may work for them. So they're all unique and different and we have to find what works for them. Good job skating! Another thing about Matt is he wants to be a part of what's going on. He wants to be involved with whatever the family's doing. So if we're laughing at a TV show, he laughs with us, but he doesn't always know how much to laugh or when to stop laughing or what's socially acceptable with how long or how to laugh. So he'll laugh really loud and smile and be happy with us, but I mean he just wants to be involved. You know he's unaware of how to be involved. What we can take away from autism is to not be judgmental and to be more tolerant of other people. Because what is normal? Hey, buddy. What's up? 
Enti. Enti. Matthew wasn't put here to love us. He was here to allow us to learn to love him.